A Little History of Silverhill, Teversal and Sutton Collieries. Hi again. Working tirelessly around the clock, my team of intrepid researchers, that's me, have come up with a little history of the three former collieries in the Teversal and Stanton Hill areas. Way back in 1867, John and George Crompton sunk the first mine shaft in Butcher Wood at Teversal. The colliery that grew from this became Teversal Colliery, but was sometimes referred to as Butcher Wood Colliery after the area in which it was located. John and George Crompton's business later became the Stanton Ironworks Company. Teversal Pit became well known for having one of the shallowest shafts in Nottinghamshire, but I am as yet unsure of the actual depth. The same company was also responsible for replacing the old Skegby Colliery in 1873 with a new pit called New Skegby Colliery, later renamed Sutton Colliery and locally known as Briley Pit, probably named after the influx of new workers that came from the Briley Hill area of Staffordshire to work in the new mine. About ten years after the sinking of the shaft at Butcherwood, the Stanton Iron Works Company began the sinking of a new colliery shaft at Teversal. Some references state the year as 1875, whilst others state 1878, so I am actually unsure of the correct year. Either way, this was to become Silver Hill Colliery. So to cope with the massive growth in population which increased from 805 to over 3000 during the 15 years between 1869 and 1884, new housing was desperately needed to accommodate the mine workers and their families. These new houses were built in the area now known as Stanton Hill, and was most probably named after the Stanton Ironworks Company, who had effectively provided employment for all these men. Although initially described as a hamlet within the parish of Skegby, Stanton Hill in later years became an area in its own right. Unfortunately, after a hundred years of production, all three pits were eventually closed. The first was Teversal in 1980, then Sutton in 1989, and finally Silver Hill in 1993. After demolition, the sites were left as waste ground for a while until recent developments, which transformed all these areas into nature-friendly country parks. Both Teversal and Silver Hill pits once stood on the area now known as Silver Hill Wood, whereas Sutton Pit once stood on the area now known as Briley Forest Park. Both are now wonderful country parks.